We Talk Nerdy. Hello everyone, this is Dave from wetalknerdy.tv with a quick tutorial for you on how best to complete the Tier 3 version of the Death Race quest from Borderlands 2. In order to complete this quest, you must have a relic called the Afterburner. It's a quest reward you get when you complete the quest, Positive Self Image. That quest is given by Scooter's cousin Ellie out in the dust. Once you have that relic equipped, you're ready to go. Just hop in your car or spawn a new one at the nearby catch-a-ride. Now you have to use the Light Runner. You can't use the Bandit vehicle, it's just not fast enough. The key to completing this quest is to make sure you boost as often as you possibly can and at the right times. Once the race starts, you want to boost just before you get to the first expansion joint in the road. Believe it or not, that little expansion joint can actually throw off your driving, so it's best to boost over it if you can. I've gone off-road in order to take the shortest route to the first checkpoint. You don't actually have to go underneath the archway, just near it. Keep in mind that it's very easy to lose control of your vehicle, so when you cross the road like this, it's better to hit it at an angle. You want to keep an eye on your boost bar to make sure that you can boost again just as soon as it's full. You have to use boost when you're going over a jump, otherwise you won't make it. When you're coming down off the bridge, try to land on the road so that you don't lose control of your car. Again, you want to keep in mind that you should boost every time your boost bar is full. When you drop down off the second bridge, I recommend that you do a short boost when your boost bar is about two ticks full. That way, your boost bar will be fully charged just after you cross the start line. It's easy to lose control of your vehicle as you cross the start line. Avoid boosting here and try to keep two of your wheels on the flat pavement between the starting pads. Again, boost as soon as your boost bar is full. And if you didn't know it, there's a Cult of the Vault symbol up here, too. This quest can be hard to complete, even if you've practiced it a lot, as I have. You can run into bandits, lose control of your vehicle for no obvious reason, and so on. But with a little practice, you should be able to complete it most of the time. Thanks for watching.